All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another collaboration beer, this time between the Finback Brewery, and they are out of Queens, New York, and Crooked Run Fermentation, and they are out of Sterling, Virginia, and this is their yellow cake. So they are calling this one an IPA that is brewed with lemon, vanilla, and lactose. It comes in at 7.3% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in a time of review. This can is just over five weeks old. So uh, I've been reviewing some Finback lately, and you know what? I feel like they're one of the most underrated breweries, not only in New York State, but period, especially when it comes to their hot forward game. Um, you don't hear a lot of people talk about them, and most of their hop forward offerings are just delicious. They really are. And I'm happy that there's a couple spots here in Western New York that go and grab their stuff uh, once in a while. They do, you can order online and have it delivered in New York State. And I think there's other states as well. Um, but I like just picking up singles, obviously. It's expensive, uh, you know, buying four packs of everything. But I really like what uh, Finback does in general. And this sounded pretty tasty. IPA, uh, lemon, vanilla, lactose. The name of it's Yellow Cake. I always think about the Chappelle Show uh, sketch uh, wrapped up in a special CIA napkin and uh, don't drop that shit. It's, you know, that's what I think about anyway. Anyway, let's uh, crack this one open, get in the glass. I've sent this one out to a couple uh, fellow beer tubers, uh, Tyler over at South 10 Beer Reviews and Ridge over at Ridgeopolis. They can get a nose on our beer reviews and they uh, said this was delicious. And... I'm not surprised because it's Finback. So, ooh, oh my lord. Now, I know I rolled this, but I did not anticipate that to have such a huge head. Interesting. Okay, so <laughs> this has been in my fridge since I bought it, so I don't know. Kind of worried now a little bit. A little bit. They didn't say anything about their uh, carbonation being crazy, but I don't know. All right, we're just going to go like that for now. And what we'll do is we'll throw this over here. The Finback labels are awesome, but also kind of weird. So that has a really hazy yellow-orange color. It looks like a hazy um, murky turbid. Has about a four-finger, super uh, soap sudsy looking head. Uh, I didn't pour it all that aggressive. It just seems to be highly carbonated. So uh, does it look good? Uh, the base of it does. The head looks kind of crazy. So let's get a nose. Just smells like a hazy, honestly. Okay, I'm getting like a little bit of like a, a cakey kind of vibe to it. Yeah, like a yellow cake, like the innards of, an, uh, of a cake, not like the frosting and everything. But underneath that, there's a lot of like juicy stone fruit, peach, pineapple. Well, peach and apricot, but then tropical fruits like pineapple, a little bit of like a uh, papaya. Whew. Okay, as I, as I swirl, the lemon is hitting the nostrils with intensity. Wow. Hang on. Yeah, so now it's it's a lot of lemon. It's zesty, rindy lemon. It's not like super sweet. Slightly tart and acidic in the nose. Not like a candied lemon. More of like a like a fresh, you just cut, cut open a lemon or you're like squeezing lemon juice. It does have a general like malt sweetness there. Or maybe the vanilla is kind of pronouncing or pop, propping that up a little bit. Probably the lactose as well. Um, not a lot of bitterness in the nose. Like I, I don't smell like anything that would maybe on the back of the palate, I'll get like a earthiness or, uh, you know, any kind of like dankness or herbaceousness. As I keep on going back, that lemon is really cool. I'm going to pour a little bit more in here. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, form a gigantic head here. All right. So that's looking a little better already. So, all right. Potential disaster averted. Yeah. I mean, it smells like a a citrus leaning, cit citrus and stone fruit leaning uh, IPA. That's what it smells like. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's tasty. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's real fun. That's a fun fucking beer. Wow. Real fun. I can see why Tyler and Ridge really like this one, because I'm digging it as well. But I think this one's like straight up medium body, 7.3%. That's fine. The mouthfeel, super soft, smooth, and creamy, despite the fact that it looked like it was super and aggressively uh, carbonated. Really not on the palate. You don't really get it all that much. I mean, there is carbonation, but it's so soft and uh, uh, creamy on the palate. Probably because of the lactose and, you know, flaked wheats and oats and everything. The taste, really nice. Really, really fucking nice. It's funny because 
I take the sip and it hits me kind of like a regular hazy wood at 7.3%. There's orange. There's just regular lemon. There's sweeter grapefruit. It's all sweeter, juicy, candy kind of citrus tones right at the front. Right after that, really like candied. I'd say more of like a candied, uh, yeah, like a, I don't want to say peach because I don't think it's peach. It's more like an apricot or nectarine, something like that. A real, real heavy stone fruit influence right after the citrus. The pineapple and everything, I'm not really getting that much. It's more of like the, the citrus, the candy citrus with a little bit of like uh, stone fruit. Halfway through the palate, I'm hit with this really nice, I would say like an earthy floral kind of aspect to it. And that continues on the back of the palate. This finishes semi-dry with a very mild bitterness, but there's a nice underlying sweet, cakey kind of presence, like a, like a lemon pound cake, I would say. Because even with the vanilla and lactose, I'm not getting like, I guess I am, maybe like a, like a lemon pound cake. I think lemon pound cakes have like the, the, the drizzle, like the uh, frosting drizzle on it. And that's kind of what I'm getting. If you just mashed up one of those and put it into a 7.3% uh, New England style IP, that's what I'm getting. While, oh man. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with this beer, but each sip I go back, there's some fucking crazy voodoo happening that's changing this beer up to something that I didn't anticipate. Like each sip, like now I'm getting more of a pronounced like sweeter cakey kind of vibe, but it's not too sweet. This isn't, this isn't like a pastry IPA or like a pastry sour or stout where it's super crazy sweet. Oh man, this is, let me take that back. This is fucking delicious. <laughs> this is, this is delicious. I saw IPA, main yellow cake, lemon, vanilla lactose. Thinking to myself, they're trying to go for like a yellow cake in IPA form. Will they succeed? Yes, they, they will. They did. Can't taste the alcohol at all, 7.3%. As I sip on this, my palate is becoming acclimated to the vanilla, the lactose, and, and the lemon, all the adjuncts. And what it's producing is like a yellow cake or like a lemon pound cake with frosting that they kind of just blended in to a 7.3% IPA that you can get the IPA character. It has a mild bitterness, has a semi-dry finish, so it's not too sweet. You're just getting all those flavors without a crazy fucking sweetness, at least to my palate. I was actually going to give this like, you know, a couple minutes ago, like a 4.25. I have to bump this up. This is this is great. I can't wait to drink the rest of that. Uh, so Yellow Cake from Finback and Crooked Run. Uh, low 4.5 out of 5. Go 4.4 out of 5. Fucking delicious. Now, like I said, I see why uh, Tyler and Ridge really enjoy this one. I'll be honest with you. When I first smelled it, started tasting, I'm like, okay, I, I see why they really enjoyed it, but like, I'm not going to enjoy it to that level. I don't know what they gave it. They didn't tell me. They just said they liked it. So I can't wait to see their reviews, but I think a 4-4 is a fucking super high score. I'll be curious to see if they like it more than that, but this is fucking great. And this, this beer specifically is why I like Finback. They just, they do different shit. They can brew hazies. They can brew stouts. They brew pilsners, um, things like this. And they're fucking really good. So uh, price and availability, I don't know. Uh, what I think I paid like six bucks for that can again. The places around here go down to uh, Finback, bring it back. They charge a little bit more. That's you know how they're going to make money off it. I get it. I would say probably like $20 for four pack of the brewery. Not much more than that. And availability, like I said earlier, uh, you'll see these in different, I think in Massachusetts they get distro, maybe down in like PA, definitely here in New York. Uh, but we don't get a lot of distro here. Again, a lot of places will go down state, bring them back. But they do sell uh, their beers on their website. I know they, I know 100% that they, uh, they definitely ship to New York State, anywhere in New York State. But I think there's like maybe like a half dozen to like a 10 different uh, other states they ship to. So if you want Finback stuff and you're pretty much in the Northeast, maybe a little bit down South, you should be able to grab their stuff uh, if you really want to try it. And this is one I would highly recommend. I would love to see if they do like a different version of this, like, you know, different different cake versions of it. But this is fucking really, really good. So uh, can't say much more about it other than if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers.